Yeah, my name is Jared Butler. Uh, I'm from La Paz, Louisiana, which is a small town around the outside of New Orleans. And, uh, you know, I'm the baby of the family. Uh, I have an older brother, older sister, and uh, my parents are both together. My, my dad's an engineer, my mom's a teacher. And uh, I grew up in a pretty stable household. Uh, I'm blessed to say that my family's been so great, and uh, they poured into me all the knowledge that they, they know, and uh, it's, it's, they've just been really good to me. And uh, uh, my family's really big on their faith, and, and I'm really big on my faith, which is probably the most important thing in my life. And, uh, and through that, my life's been, been very, very, very blessed. And, uh, and of course, I do like to play basketball. Uh, I guess I would say my brother and my dad and just uh, my brother's friends, they really, they really made basketball something that I enjoy playing. And I played it all the time ever since I was four years old. And uh, it's just been such a great, great game for me. And uh, it's, also, it's actually led me to many places. It's allowed me uh, to go to college for free. And, uh, you know, it's just been such a blessing in my life. And uh, so through basketball, there's always ups and downs. And it's one of the things I really like about it. And uh, one of the biggest, biggest challenges I ever faced in basketball was uh, once I actually committed to college, I, 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 I committed to the college. I went there on campus ready to go. You know, I'm a freshman in college, and, and then I found some unfortunate news that, you know, just made me, uh, made me re not rethink, but it, it altered my life and, and to where I had to change, change schools. And uh, through that process, it was a tough time and just unforeseen circumstances that made my life just kind of, kind of bad at the moment. But, uh, but I was, I'm so fortunate for that situation because it's, it's led me to Baylor to where I am today. And, uh, and I just and I just love it to death. And uh, and a typical day at Baylor maybe may seem like uh, a lot for other people, but for me it's it's kind of peaceful. Uh, it's very structured. And uh, you know I wake up, I go to school, uh, you know usually for about four hours, and then I go to practice for about four hours, and then I got like two hours to myself to just you know watch Netflix, or whatever, do homework, and uh, and that's pretty much a typical day. And. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been great playing, and obviously we've been successful. And uh, yeah, so the team at Baylor. One thing I want to talk about is, is just how how special it was this year, and how impactful they've been on my life. And uh, they've been such such great teammates, and it's made the game of basketball so much easier to play. And yeah, so besides basketball, my life beyond basketball, I think my my biggest thing that 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 drives me is my faith. So I, I look at Beyond Basketball as a, as a way to live my life in a way that, that glorifies God and, uh, and glorifies the Christian as, as much as possible. And uh, yeah, and also I want to stick around and, and be around the game of sports and, uh, and ministering young, young athletes like me. So like uh, my, one of my dream occupations is like being an athletic director at Baylor and, uh, or at any university, but uh, I think that's like a role that I can thrive in. And, Somewhere I could I can pour into young athletes like I said, and uh, yeah, and it's it's kind of like a long journey, but I think uh, one of the most proud moments I ever had in my career was really just uh, going through the trials I had from committing to one college and having to move to another one. Uh, the most proud moment is the realization that that my life is not in in my hands and that uh, somebody's guided my life. And it's and it's and it's, it was a proud moment. I, I felt like I've grown. I'm mature, I matured in such a way that just made me uh, who I am today. And that's and that's one of the most proud moments I have ever had. Really. And uh, yeah, so that's a little bit about me and uh, my story, my life. It's kind of boring. Some people say it's exciting, but yeah, that's just me.